Hey there guys, my name is Brandon, aka Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Okay, you guys, I normally keep it very, very positive and optimistic on this channel about the Phoenix Suns. So the first half of this video is going to be a little bit of a rant video because I was really, really disappointed in the Phoenix Suns tonight who somehow got the victory over the shorthanded Philadelphia 76ers. 130 to 117. This is now the third game in the NBA bubble where the Phoenix Suns came out completely flat with no energy. They allowed the 76ers to take a lead in the first quarter and had to climb their way back. The Phoenix Suns defense was a mess tonight. They were allowing the 76ers to stay in the game and every time the Suns went on a run the Sixers would climb back so give the Sixers credit. They were down five of their best players and this Sixers team Team that played tonight looked like a playoff team they did a great job and deserve a lot of credit and if the Phoenix Suns ever want to make the playoffs they have to not start off games like this they have to come out strong defensively and punch the opposing team in the mouth in the first quarter especially if they just want to get to the playoffs and win one game in the playoffs they have to have a good first quarter and come out right on the tip off full of energy. Alrighty guys, so my rant is over. Let's focus on the positive stuff here. The Phoenix Suns had 82 points in the last two second quarters and the Suns have done a great job of responding to their poor play in the first quarter by making it up in the second quarter. Devin Booker finished with 35 points tonight and he almost had a triple double. He passes Walter Davis for the franchise's record of 91 games with 30 points or more. He has been on fire from the free throw line and took this game into his own hands. Devin Booker arguably is the NBA bubble's most valuable player. I thought Mikael Bridges had a great game tonight. He had 24 points. Dario Sarge was huge off the bench. 18 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists. And let's give some credit to Frank Kaminsky. He had 13 points in 13 minutes. So that is it, you guys. I am sorry to be a little bit negative on this channel, but I had to get that off my chest and rant about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brandon, aka Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Valley Boys, stand up.